Hey guys, Dustin here. This is Eon Avenger. I'm playing this on my uh, iPad 2. And this is a like, top down 16 bit ish RPG. And I don't really remember where I left off. I don't remember what I was doing. But I think I just bought equipment, maybe? And then I went to the end? That sounds about right. Maybe I already did what I needed to do with this town. Maybe I should have figured out what I was doing before I started the recording. But this game is pretty good. It's, uh... Oh, here we go. So yeah, the, the overall story may as well just be called cliche the game. You you literally, like, you start out a, a boy with amnesia, and then your uh, town is attacked by the big bad, and now you're out for revenge. And as you can see here, I am trying to learn how to control time. My boy Shin here just told me about it. The overall art direction is pretty good. Uh, the animation is really minimal, even in the uh, uh, during the fight sequences. The translation is pretty good as far as the conversational stuff goes, but the menu translation is kind of hit and miss. These guys will quit yapping and we'll get to fighting stuff. The way that the items and stuff work. Let's see here. Here's a weird thing. You have to go to status. And then you can use your weapon. As you can see, here it has a bit that acts almost identically, if not identically, to the Materia system in Final Fantasy VII, where the weapon that you equip has uh, however many slots, and then you throw what you want into those slots and that gives you your skills and right now I have heal uh, that let's see HP recovery during defense and load powerful bullet which is kinda like a, a, a little more powerful attack and let's see here Shin he has a silver sword and pretty much the same stuff so your your characters are kinda blank slates that way and you can kind of Customize them to uh, whatever your play style is. That's where, yeah, that's where we're going. Let's see if we can't get into a fight. Which reminds me of Breath of Fire 3, where you had to cross the desert 
freaking treasure chest everywhere in this game. Oh, here we go. Alright, now, as you can see, I can... The D-pad and stuff goes away. I can, uh, like, tap, attack, and then tap an enemy, or you can just use your uh, D-pad and the button to con confirm. How bad these guys are going to be, so I'm going to see what's going on. Alright. Now, one thing that I have noticed so far is the uh, learning curve is, like, non-existent. This game, the, the difficulty, the balance is kind of off, and so far it's been in my favor. I've just been slaughtering monsters left and right. So, I'm wondering at one point, at what point will this, like, flip and I'm going to be getting killed over and over and over. Oh, man. I didn't know I was going to get poisoned here. I might have to go back and get some antidote items. But really, that's my, my one complaint about this game is the fact that, one, it's pretty cliched, and two, uh... It's it's unnecessarily easy. Uh, I'm probably dying because I haven't killed myself. Let's see here. As you can see, like I can go through the settings and move this D-pad as it's sitting right on top of the freaking menus, but so far it hasn't been too big a deal. Uh, I think it's tools. Okay, so poison goes away after a fight, apparently. Did I not sell my stuff after I equipped it? I must not have. And I do like the little mini map that pops up unless you kind of see where you're you're at in relation to where you should be going. Kind of reminds me of Wild Arms for some reason. I'm not sure why. Overall, I've had a lot of fun with this game. Um, that was, of course, before I picked up uh, Don Maku Unlimited. I played Don Maku Unlimited too so much that like I, I could see it when I closed my eyes. And that's when I kind of stepped away from this game and forgot what I was doing. Usually appears before boss. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Attack. Drops its hidden agility. Well, let's try it. I think that said Shin became poison. Alright, let's see here. Use you. Use poison and you. you know what? I think I might actually kill you just in case. See, it's the menu and the fight narration that, eh, it's the, trans the localization, not so great. But I think the conversation stuff has been pretty good so far. Uh, no, let me go back. Skill. And heal. And... Skill. I'll just cut you down this time. A satisfying attack instead of a critical attack.
Yeah, oh, how did that actually mean to normal attack? I was gonna use a special. But I'm actually this is uh this is good, I actually it's actually kind of difficult. It's not something I'm just gonna be able to sail through. What are some of the dumber names that uh, protagonists from JRPGs have had? Lake is kind of dumb. Let's see, there was Vice. I think someone was named Sword. Surge is a real name, but that's kind of dumb still. He was in uh, Chrono Cross. Alright. Experience. That's right, level 10. What's up? <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Again, this has been Eon Avenger on uh, my iPad 2. Available in the App Store. For all the necessary information, look below in the uh, comments section. Uh, no, not the comments section. The description section. It should all be in there. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, actually, I'm looking at the screen, and Shin's hat kind of makes Lake look like he has pigtails. On that note, I'll catch you next video, guys.